Hello and welcome to Devotions Online at EmmanuelFamily.com and wherever else they may post this. My name is Ben Alloway and I'm the Director of Worship and Music at Emmanuel Lutheran Church in Forest City, Iowa. Today is Tuesday and Holy Week and uh, there are four scriptures assigned for today in the lectionary. Uh, Isaiah 49, 1 through 7. Psalm 71, 1 through 14, 1 Corinthians 1, 18 through 31, and John 12, 20 through 36. We're not going to do the Corinthians uh, portion, and we'll just do a couple of verses from each scripture as we go through the devotion. So in today's gospel, we hear from John 12, 28. Father, glorify your name, Jesus says. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said an angel has spoken to him. Then Jesus says, the light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. After Jesus had said this, he departed and hid from them. At home yesterday morning, we were surprised by the thunder we heard from our threshold. It became dark all of a sudden, and then the sky opened up a big shower on our front lawn. In the Gospel reading for today, the crowd heard thunder, and others heard it as a voice from heaven, and yet others thought that an angel had spoken to Jesus. What do we hear? What do we hear in Isaiah? Listen to me, O coastlands. Pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. We also hear about being named when in the womb and the glorifying of the holy name that happens in and through the life of Jesus from the gospel. It's an intimate relationship we're a part of here and has me wonder what is our name for God and God's name for us in this holy family. When we pray in the name of Jesus, we look to be the one we, we look to be one with his being, he in us and we in him, that our joy may be complete, at one, in the light. These lessons in the life of Christ seek once again to bridge us to God. We can hear God calling us from shadowlands into his light-filled presence calling our attention to the space between us and the holy. God's Spirit fills that space. We can lean into that and lean on our faith in the power of life to overcome death. At the end of the Gospel, Jesus hid. Was this an invitation then to come find him? Like a serious game of hide and seek, like we'd play as children in our family? Oh, that we be encouraged to seek him and find him, that the darkness not overcome us, and that while we have the light, believe in the light, so that we may become children of light. May our Holy Week ultimately bring an unmistakable light in and through us to the world, especially in these challenging days, that in hearing our name being spoken, we know, our, we know we are being called 
and that in answer we say yes to God being glorified in and through our life, and maybe even be moved to join in singing. I want to walk as a child of the light. I want to follow God sent the stars to give light to the world. The star of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The light, the night, and day are born. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. Pray with me, please. God, we thank you for letting us walk with Jesus from the shadows into the light of the resurrection. We too glorify your holy name and we look forward to a meaningful week with you as we walk through Holy Week through to Easter. In Jesus' name, amen.